you guys welcome back I am wanting to just sit down do a full face today I really want to play in my new Tarte palette and so I said you know what since I got to do my whole face and get myself together I may as well just do a video a little chit chat with you guys doing my whole face using the new Tarte what is this high tides and good vibes palette so this is what this palette looks like sorry about the glare but it's pretty isn't it pretty you guys I know I'm looking crazy <laughs> I'm about to get it together though you guys know I just came back from traveling I've been gone for about two weeks so I'm finally back in my own space and I'm feeling nice and comfortable but I need to get my eyebrows together being on that funky airplane with them people just I feel like it got my face breaking out my face was fine the whole time I was gone but as soon as I got off that plane it was just like bloop 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 <laughs> does anybody else go through that people coughing and touching you just like ugh anyway so we gonna get it together today but this is the palette you guys let me see if I can show you you guys see how it's like the little water in there is moving by the turtle. Super duper cute. I love this palette, you guys. It's so pretty. And this is what it looks like on the inside, okay? This mug is pretty. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So, I am going to um, get you guys some swatches and stuff, but I want to go ahead, clean up my eyebrows, and get my eyes prepped, and then I'm going to do the swatches. So to clean up my eyebrows, I don't know if you guys can see all this excess hair I have growing in around my eyebrows, but I'm going to use this Flawless Brows, you know, little kind of mechanical razor type thing it's really really cute I saw my girl DJ with this I think she has this one and she has the face one I bought the face one too but I'm kind of scared to use it because I'm trying to grow back no beard okay <laughs> so I haven't used a face one but I really like this cute little one for the brows it has a battery and a light I don't know if you can hear that but I like to just go in with it and just kind of take it you know right up under my brows where that excess hair is growing in and I like the fact that it doesn't just immediately yank everything out it kind of slowly gently takes you know a little bit out at a time so you do have to kind of go over it a few times at least for me I do maybe my hair is just tough <laughs> but I like that so I'm gonna use this to clean up my brows Fill them in with my Ellie Girl Slim Shady Pencil, prep my lids, and then we'll come back and move forward with this look. Okay, you guys, so what you think? I went ahead, cleaned up my brows with my little brow shaver and filled them in with my Ellie Girl Pencil. I think my little shaver did all right because I'm too lazy to go get them threaded right now. So, this is what we're working with. I'm going to go ahead and use my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot set my lids and then we'll continue. Okay, so I have my eyes all set with my paint pot. I'm not gonna set it with powder or anything. Now I have to decide what I wanna do with this gorgeous palette. Mm. Okay. Okay, I'm going to use this light shade here on my brow bone or my upper lid space just to kind of give me a nice transition shade. So I'm gonna use this lighter shade here. Do these have names? Yeah, they do, but of course I can't read them, so <laughs> not gonna try. <laughs> I'm so sorry, y'all. My lips are mad crusty. Let me go ahead and gloss them up a little bit for y'all so y'all have to look at my crusty lips through this whole video. <laughs> Since I'm up close and personal, I know, I know. Hot mess. And you guys, I'm gonna try and get as, as bold and colorful as I can with this palette because there's some gorgeous shades in here, but I know there's some glitters. So we're gonna see just how bold of a look we can get out of this palette today. Thank you. 
Okay, we got that nice light transition shade down. So now I wanna start seeing some color. I'm going to go into this shade here, which is kind of like a nice, I don't know, it's like a deep, it's not mauve, it's not really pink. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna go ahead and use that in my upper crease area. I don't know, is it like a terracotta? Is that how you would describe this color? Kind of like a terracotta shade, maybe? Yeah, it's pretty, it's very, very nice. Nice color. Okay, so now that I have those two shades down nicely blended, I wanna do something a little crazy because now these two blues down here, they're not mattes. These are shimmers or satins, as you can see, they're not matte shades, but I am going to use them to deepen up my inner and outer corner and my crease before I go into some of these glitters. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this dark blue here and I'm going to see how that deepens my inner and outer corner. Okay, yeah, that's nice. It's not super duper shiny or anything like that. And it's nice and dark. I like that. And right now I'm just more so concerned with placing the color down since I have so many more colors that I want to play with. I'm not worried too much about blending it out yet. I want to play with this other blue in my crease area before I start blowing everything out. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to go into this like royal blue satin shade here. It's a little bit brighter and I'm going to use that more so in my crease area and just blend it in with that other blue. So these blues look very similar. <clears throat> that one is a little bit lighter, but they look very, very similar to me. Yeah, to me they look so close that I could have just used the darker blue for what I'm doing right now. They're very pretty though and they're going on nice and smooth. I like that. But I wouldn't expect anything else from Tarte, honestly. When I sit down with a Tarte palette, I don't really anticipate having issues. Okay, so now I'm going back into that terracotta shade. I'm gonna put a little bit more of that on my brush and just try and blend out my crease area a little bit where that blue is so it's not so bold and distinct. Okay, you guys ready to play with some of these glitters? Um, and they are glitter, <laughs> so I'm not sure exactly how well they're gonna adhere. I wanna use a little bit of my NYX white, you know, eye base just to kinda, cause it's a little bit creamy and I want something that there be that they will be able to pop on as well as to help them adhere. I don't know if it even needs it or not, but I'm gonna use a little bit of my NYX white base. And I'm really not trying to do a full on cut crease. I just want to put some of these on my lid. So um, I think I'm going to start out with this gorgeous like sea blue or turquoise color here. I'm going to start out with that. Yeah, you guys, this is straight up glitter. I should probably use some glitter glue. Y'all see that? It's straight up glitter. So <laughs> if you don't like glitter, then you probably don't wanna buy this palette. Cause I mean, these colors are gorgeous, but yeah, it's glitter. Now I wanna go into this beautiful pink glitter here and I'm going to place that on the center of my lid.
and I'm just gonna try and blend the edge of those two glitters together so it's not such a harsh stop. Now I'm going into this gold glitter here and I'm gonna place that on the first part of my lid. Okay, you guys, so I have that glitter on there as nicely as I possibly can. You guys know glitter gets messy, but I really like these colors. They're very, very pretty, and I want to go ahead and see how it looks after I add my black liquid eyeliner. So I'm going to use my Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner and see how the glitter looks after I put this on as well. Okay you guys, so my eyeliner is done. Now let's go ahead and move to this face. I think I'm going to use some of my Milani Camellia oil today on my face. I haven't used this in a while. I actually lost it <laughs> for a little while. I didn't know where it went. So I found it and I wanna use some of this today. And I'm not going to use a primer because I'm not going anywhere today. <laughs> so I just want to go in with my foundation, just kind of have a nice, smooth, moisturized base and some of my bounce foundation. So as you can see that Milani oil really changed the finish of this foundation because this foundation is pretty matte typically when it dries. So that oil really has it giving me a nice dewy look. So I'm gonna go in with some of my Derma Blend. Um, I'm not really into that concealer life right now. <laughs> so I'm not concealing right now. I'm just gonna go in with some of my Derma Blend powder and then I'm going to go in with a little bit of my e.l.f. powder to set the rest of my face and then maybe I'll bronze a little bit. Now I'm gonna use my Milani Earth Glow just to kind of add a little bit more warmth to my cheeks and outer face area. I really, really like this stuff, you guys. It makes me feel like I've been to the beach, even though I haven't. <laughs> And for blush, I'm gonna go in with my Milani Coral Cove, I think this is. Yeah, Coral Cove. I just want a nice, soft, peachy look since I'm already kind of looking bronzy. And for highlight, I'm going to use my Milani Highlight, and this one is in Strobe Light Sun Glow, I think, number 03. Okay, you guys, so back to these eyes. I wanna take this crease color that I use, this kind of light terracotta shade, and smoke out my lower lash line. Okay, and you guys know I was going back into this blue, so I'm going back into this blue here in the outer corner and I'm going to use that on my lower lash line as well. Whew. Okay, well I guess this look is no longer playing with y'all, okay? <laughs> 
hello i'm loving that blue it's really really pretty okay so for inner corner highlight we just have this one up here this really pretty shimmery shade so i'm going to try and pop some of that in my inner corner and then i will put on some mascara Okay, so that's pretty I like that shade it went in very easily I didn't have to fight with it it did exactly what it was supposed to do so today you guys since I'm using Tarte eyeshadow I decided to go ahead and try this lights camera lashes mascara I got this in one of my monthly subscription boxes don't remember which one um, and I don't know I don't know <laughs> Y'all know how I am with mascaras, so let me go ahead and try this one out and see how I like it. So, I don't really feel like this mascara is doing much of anything to my lashes. I hate when I use stuff and I just really, really don't like it because y'all know I would have rather have given, just given it away, but can't give it away now because I've used it but okay you guys so I'm just gonna set all of this with some of my morphe what is this their continuous setting mist and since my eyes are so bold I kind of want to just I don't know I want a little bling on my lips too since I do have glitter on my eyes but I think I'm going to go in with this berry colored lip liner. It's just a generic lip liner I probably got from Amazon or something. So it's very, very light. Not very pigmented at all. <laughs> so I wanna go in with one of the Amber Shoal glitter type glosses. I just wanna see how this looks. If it's a little bit too much, then I'm gonna take it off. But I do wanna try it out. This one is the more gold colored gloss. Ooh. actually very pretty it's not as super bold gold like you would think by looking at it but it's a very pretty nice shimmery gloss so I like it I think it goes nice with this look so hopefully you guys like it too so this is the look you guys from this Tarte palette I must say I like it. I wasn't really sure exactly how I was going to feel about the glitter and, you know, trying to figure out what I wanted to do for this look. But I think the nice terracotta shade and the smoky blues really go very, very nicely together in this palette. I think it's really, really gorgeous, really pretty. Now, I know I said I was going to do some swatches for you guys, and I haven't gotten around to that yet. So let me just go ahead and do some swatches right quick. So those are the glitters. As you can see, you know, they kind of skip and everything because they are straight glitter. And these are all the shadows in the palette. So as you can see, very nice, soft, um, you know, mattes and then the gorgeous, beautiful shimmer shadows. Those two blues are a little too similar for my liking. I mean, they look almost identical to me. So I don't really understand <laughs> what they were doing with that because those blues are really, really similar to me. So anyway, but they're both gorgeous. So those are the swatches for you guys. Glitter all over the place and the regular swatches. So that's that but just my overall thoughts on this palette you guys I like it I like it a lot I think it's gorgeous I think the color scheme is gorgeous the concept of it is really really cute you know tartan their packaging is just undeniable so the packaging is beautiful the actual shadows are gorgeous I think even the glitters are beautiful even if you don't like glitter but you kind of want to play around with some these are great. Like I said, I didn't even use a glitter glue and they still stuck. Even just to my little NYX base, they stuck. So I have no complaints about this palette. I like it. It's gorgeous. 
and I say if you are really really fiending for it because you think it's gorgeous and you want to play around with these colors knock yourself out it's not too bad I think it's about 39 bucks or something like that on Tarte and at Sephora so you know up to you like I said it's just first impression y'all saw me use it <laughs> but I've used enough of this palette to know that your girl likes it okay so that's it for this video you guys thank you so much for hanging with me to try out this palette and I will see you on my next video toodles